I spent over $1,000 on Napoleonic Wars LEGO minifigures. And honestly, I wish that I didn't. But what I will say is that a bunch of these LEGO Napoleonic Wars minifigures are amongst the most rare and high quality that I've ever seen. For example, this one here that I had to spend £150 to get. As you can tell from that very professional preview, I will be saving the most expensive and rare LEGO minifigures until the end to force you to watch the entire video. How else am I gonna make my money back? Uh, I suppose I could just start a crypto scam. Anyway, all of these minifigures are from the United Bricks Napoleon Day. They had a ton of new and unique minifigures to choose from and I kinda just got them all, including multiple LEGO build kits. Also, did somebody say custom LEGO cannons? If you look on the United Bricks website, you actually can't get any of these Napoleonic minifigures because they've now been removed. So maybe it's an investment. Either way, let's crack open a box and see what's inside. We're gonna create the Grand Army on this base plate, and we're gonna create the Coalition Army on this base plate. Now, being from the glorious nation of Scotland, when I saw Scottish LEGO minifigures, my, 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 my. I'm gonna create my very own LEGO Highland Brigade. But as you know, you always save the best till last, so let's start with the French. I'm gonna pour this bag back into the box, that's right, you don't get to see the good stuff until later on, yeet! And let's start assembling our first French LEGO. Line. There's actually a silly amount. Oh, let's, I'm gonna hide the good one. <laughs> okay, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this might be our first French ranker. Now, I do have muskets before you before you get upset. Uh, oh no, <laughs> it was not a graceful landing. Now, this is the most basic French ranker we've even got here. And by the way, this is real Lego. No knockoffs around here. So there we have it. We've got our first French ranker. He's got musket in hand. They actually hold them pretty nicely. Seeing as these are the the, the Chord infantry. Let's get them in the front. The disposable, the expendable infantry. Back into the box we go. Okay, I think that's another two of the same. So these are French fusiliers. They're like the basic French infantry, but we will give them muskets and we will send them into battle with no training. Now, the one thing to note about these Lego minifigures is this is real Lego that's been UV printed over. But if you open up his legs and you look inside, I wonder if you'll be able to read. Nice. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that this is real Lego. We're going legit here. I think the only part that's not Lego is his hat, because I believe that's 3D printed. The rest of him is good to go. Look at that. We've actually got our first Napoleonic infantry line. But what is a line of rankers without an officer to command them? Back to the box we go. That looks to me like he will do nicely. That looks to me like a, just a French field marshal, yeah? Honestly, the level of detail in these United Bricks Lego minifigures really does not stop impressing me. This guy looks so good. Let's give him a flintlock. Tell you what, yeah, he can take a flintlock. And then let's slap him down on the base plate there. He will be in charge of leading this French Fusilier line. I'm sure you'll agree that we're off to a good start, but of course, you can't send infantry into Basel without the cover of artillery. Next on the build list, we're gonna construct a Napoleonic Lego cannon. Okay, let's get started. This is where it gets juicy. Allegedly, difficulty is one star. As you can see, it says 14 plus, which means that I am not equipped to deal with this. They have got instructions just in case, but let's shuffle that back and let's see what we've actually got here. So this LEGO build kit, of course, comes with two additional LEGO minifigures. These are the operators of the French Napoleonic horse artillery. So whilst we build the LEGO cannon for them to operate, let's just get the actual two dudes just chilling there. Right, let's, uh, let's tackle the challenge. Okay, we're on to step 10 and it is actually starting to take shape. And the final part goes on here. Okay, so there is our clicker. Sorry, I mean artillery. Let's get, I really didn't think I was gonna use the whole base plate when I started this, but you know what? I actually am. Oh, it can even be pressed into the base plate to hold it still. Oh my God, it gets better. Right, then let's get the actual gunners. Look at this base plate. We've got so much more to make that I'm taking way too long. This is a French artilleryman, but he doesn't have a gun to fire. So what we're gonna do is, I'll just plop him there for the time being. Now building Lego build kits can be incredibly expensive. I speak from experience. So I want to see if I can build the Frenchies a cannon using the Lego bricks that I already have. Uh, spoiler, 
I can. I've already collected the bricks. What you're looking at is the makings of a custom cannon. Now I am gonna try and build this one, Ute, without looking at the instructions. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Ah, okay. Is that how that's? No, that's that can't be right. I mean, it's it's definitely gonna be a little bit smaller. I didn't realize that the wheels were a different size, but you know, I've just realized I've got the wrong part. Into the box we go. Ah, uh, you know what's gonna have to happen. You know what's gonna happen here. Yeah. Okay, um, I've got the parts I need. I enjoyed that. I'm lying. Right, so this will make sense to you in just a moment, okay? So the reason why I was like, I was like, how do I connect this back end on? And the reason is, is because I was using this piece here, but what I should have been using was this piece here. So it actually has, a, it's got like an opening on both sides. Hey, look, it's not gonna be totally cringe. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's not gonna be a complete disaster. So it's actually, you know what? Considering the hurdles that we've just had to jump over to get that, I'm happy with that. Okay, oh, his hat's come off. That is actually one criticism of the these, uh, of these French minifigures is the hats, the tolerance on the hats, they do fall out quite easily, too easily in my opinion. But let's get him on his little baby cannon there. So there we go, we've got the good artillery piece and then we've got my artillery piece. I'm glad that I got the good ones, you know, because if it was just this, then that would have, well, it just would have been a shame, wouldn't it? Come to think of it, I've actually got the parts to build a lot more cannons, but considering how that one turned out, I don't think I will. But what we do have is a lot more infantry that needs to go onto this base plate. Oh, let's do that. All right, so what we've got here is we have got four French Volta gears and four, th no, that's three. I can't count. Three French grenadiers. Let's start slapping these guys down. No time to waste. Now, if you didn't know, the Volta gears are basically just a slightly more elite line than, for example, the Fusiliers. So these guys are basically just better. Just why they've got the nice green shoulder pads. Look at that. That's actually pretty cool. And we've still not even got the grenadiers on, actually. Let's do something. I will treat you to one of the rare, expensive Napoleonic Lego minifigures. Let's pick one. Now, for the high command officers, I've also- why is there a- okay, hold on. There's a- there is a green, I don't know, space sword in here for some reason. But what I was gonna say is there are also sabers, like officer sabers in here. So there we go. The first French line has got a field marshal, and now Alexander something Dumas, I've forgotten his name again, is going to be leading the Volta Gears. Look at that. There we go. That looks good. We've also still got to put these Grenadiers down. These are the next level up. So we'll have the Fusiliers, Volta Gears, and then the Grenadiers will be at the back because these are the experienced infantry that you don't want to just die in the first volley. Now the French have also called up some allies in the form of Württemberg. Let's get these guys on the playing board. You know what, actually? Considering those hats are 3D printed, they work really well. I'm going to give them muskets, but what we're going to do is we're going to put them on the front line. They're even less important than the Fusiliers because they are not actually French. They are simply just allies and they will be used as cannon fodder. Okay, so what we're looking at here is is not even it. In fact, actually, I'm gonna have to move the cannon and artillery to make room for more French rankers and then the special Lego minifigures that will be taking his place. So let's move the cannon over. In fact, I'll have to, I'll have to move that as well. Let's get out the next line. Let's yeet the box away over there because, ladies and gentlemen, the Imperial Guard Grenadiers. So let's get these guys at the back and what their job is going to be is they're going to be protecting the VIP. The best and most important LEGO minifigure will be right at the back down here and their job will be to protect him. Now, I also got some French cavalry, but unfortunately, I, I forgot to get a horse to put him on. So he's just going to... I suppose we could give him a... I'll give him a... Damn, his... his like his helmet. Hold on. Let me show you his helmet. Like, look at this guy here. Like, is that a helmet? Is that hand painted? It does look hand painted. And actually, if I'm being honest, the paint on that, it, it, that's, it doesn't look great, to be completely blunt. The shape of it is great. The paint job, not so much. But let's get him down nonetheless. So this should be enough Lego Napoleonic Wars minifigures to spam a bunch of mocks, right? Well, believe it or not, there are three minifigures yet to go onto the French base plate. I'm still holding off on the really expensive and rare minifigures that you have to wait and see. Don't you dare skip. But let me give you another sneak peek.
I know, right? Looks good. But now it's about time to start building the coalition army on this base plate. Now there's a lot to get through, so let's get stuck in. Yeah. <sighs> I am never gonna financially recover from this. So let's make the most of it. Now, what we've got here is three Prussian Hussars, Ferdinand von Schill and von Blücher. The level of detail in some of these uniforms is honestly incredible. But one thing that I will say is that I, I actually have absolutely no idea who Ferdinand von Schill is. <laughs> to be honest, he just looks like a slight variant of these three Prussian soldiers. I may have underbought, well actually, I probably didn't underbuy the muskets, I probably overbought the minifingers. So let's dig out a saber. Now obviously, at the end, once we've got the two armies, what we can do is we can push these two base plates together and we'll see the standoff. And actually, that will look like a proper battle. I didn't even intend for that to happen. But what we should do now, we should get the not Prussian rankers, the British artillery. So these two fine gentlemen, but they are not alone. Now we've got cannons for the French. So obviously, we need cannons for the coalition. Preferably ones that aren't made by me. <laughs> I might even actually completely get rid of it from the French base plate. And we will use this instead because this is actually good. Oh, yes, more instructions. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Now, seeing as I've already built one of these, I, I should, I should, and I use the word should, one second, this is very, very important. You should be capable of actually building this one without making mistakes. I think I'm doing it right. <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, so this is what I've made. This is what I've just made there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the existing one and see how I did. I think I've smashed that. Oh my God. Right, maybe you're not that impressed with what's just happened there, seeing as it is a relatively simple build, but I'm not gonna lie. These instructions, yeah. Bro, let's put it right behind the Prussians so that if it does misfire, it uh, murders all the Prussians and not any of the Highland Brigade, which we will be putting down next. Let's move this base plate here for a second. I just have to. I have to do this because I just don't like this cannon that I've made. Now, if you've been subscribed to the channel for a while, when I create a build that I don't like, we have a like a general routine or a procedure that we go through. Oh no, I hit the soundproofing! What an anti-climax! The last time I smashed something off those whiteboards, it damaged the whiteboard as well. So it's gonna be like it's gonna be like um a planet with like scars all over it. So let's get it done this time. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so nothing happened there whatsoever, but what we will do is we will give these French artillery operators their cannon back, shall we? Right, let me move the French back over here. We're getting back over to the coalition army where it is now time, I believe, to start populating this base plate with the Highland Brigade. I spent a terrifying amount of money on bits of plastic that somewhat resemble Scottish regiments. Now, I actually completely forgot about this soldier. This, I bought from the United Bricks, I don't know when, months ago, but let's just slap him down, I guess. I think he'll be a one of one But there's another thing that I forgot. Frankly, I don't know how I could do this to them, but I forgot to give the French their baguettes. Money well spent. Do these even fit onto the... No. They don't connect? What do you mean they don't connect? How are the French supposed to consume their baguettes if they if it doesn't... Okay, uh, let's get started, shall we? So what we've got is we've got the 3rd Foot Guards, better known as the Scots Guards, and we've got the 71st Regiment of Foot, better known as the Glasgow Highlanders. Even though they don't have kilts, they are still very much Scottish regiments, and then of course we also have these bad boys here, but let's leave them for a minute. Let's put the Scots Guards in front. They're not hiding from the battle, and yes, this is going to be cripplingly and painfully biased. Again, I did unfortunately grossly underestimate how many weapons, literally the Coalition are army is just gonna have no weapons. I could rob the fake Lego weapons, but I don't want to touch the fake Lego until the end because it would taint the experience. So there we go. And also, you'll notice, by the way, that there's a bunch of spaces in this formation. That's because we've still got to put down the rare and expensive Lego, which I have been baiting for this entire video. But now, let's get the 92nd Regiment of Foot, better known as the Gordon Highlanders. You might not know that I live in Aberdeen, which is actually the home of the Gordon Highlanders. In fact, actually, the museum for these guys is 
is around the corner and they sell these minifigures. Now, five of these LEGO minifigures are just your average rankers. This guy, however, he is the sergeant. Now, because he is going to be the standout 90 second sergeant, I have got what can only be described as the most detailed LEGO musket I think I've ever seen. This cost $16. So what we're going to do is we're going to give the absolutely insane looking musket to the 90 second sergeant. Okay, tell you what, the coalition is starting to come together. It's, I don't know, actually, who has more minifigures? I can't be bothered counting. That'll be up to you. But looky, looky, what do we have in here? Is it the rare and expensive Lego minifigures I've been basing this whole time? So I would say that is a relatively conclusive Napoleonic Brit- Well, it's not really British, I suppose. It's a coalition army. It might even be a match for the French Empire. Now, remember earlier in the video, I gave you some really professional sneak peeks at some of the most rare and expensive Lego minifigures that I've been teasing in this video. Well, I've decided that I'm just not going to show you them. What? Uh, if you've made it to this point in the video, then you have earned it. To get this minifigure, I had to spend more than £150. So I think it's safe to say this is going to be a rare and expensive collectible and hopefully not a complete waste of money. Now you may be acquainted with the Duke of Wellington, Vice Admiral Nelson, and the original Napoleon, all three of which I have got nicely lined up for you here. But what you probably won't have seen, there is a new and much more rare Napoleon minifigure. It's Napoleon but wearing green. I didn't really sell it there. I definitely shouldn't be a salesperson. Now, I think it's about time we stick these on the base plates. With the Grand Army of the French Empire over here and the Coalition Army on the other base plate, let's put down the commanding officers. I believe that this is actually the King of Naples. So, obviously Naples being in Italy, I'm not sure which team to put him on because he probably wouldn't have known either. But seeing as this, yeah, this artillery crew is missing a man. There we go. <laughs> now, we've obviously then also got two Napoleon now, one of them is the beta average Napoleon you can get on the website right now. The other one is the one that you can no longer get. So we're going to have some sort of like weird deathmatch thing having taken place here where this Napoleon's murdered the other one. It's really all falling apart now, isn't it? <laughs> then let's get the Duke of Wellington over here. And Vice Admiral Horatio Nelson can go, sure, he can go there. So it's the moment of truth. We are going to put these two base plates together and look at that. Do you want to know what's even funnier than this Lego video crippling my finances? It's that if we push these dudes up here, well, what that does is that makes room for, um, that makes room for these. Somebody help me, please, I'm begging you. So here we have the Grand Army of the French Empire, and we've also got the Coalition Army with our very own Highland Brigade. To help me avoid going bankrupt and starting a pyramid scheme to cover my losses, subscribe. I mean, definitely subscribe if you want to see more LEGO Napoleonic Wars because I feel like I'm gonna have to make a few more videos to, to justify this expense. 